Each one of us want to pursue excellence. I've been a student of excellence myself. I was quite struck. I'm very fond of going to film shoots and see what they do, how they do. And one such film shoot I attended several years back where a famous actress was dancing, dancing, and the shot was not getting over. And I was quite irritated. She was a very famous dancer and I said, what's wrong? I asked the dance director and she said, look here, when she's uh, dancing and her fingers are not coming parallel. I said, I'm not going to bother in the audience to see whether her fingers are parallel. She told Dr. Khandilwal, if I knowingly make concession about this small thing, lyricist makes Another concession, knowing well there is some problem, music director makes another concession, editor makes another concession, finally you will see a blurred movie. And I got my lessons in excellence on that day. Back home I realize how true it is and the dance director who is no academic gave me the best lessons in excellence that at each point, each touch point of our working, we need to experience excellence. And since then, I have become rather finicky about ensuring that the organization I work, everything is experienced is an experience in excellence by our customers, by our visitors. In fact, when I was CEO, often I would give ring to my office just to check after how many ring the telephone operator lifts the phone. And my two ring principle became famous that if after two ring, the office operator does not lift the phone, there is something wrong. My customer should experience that it's not only the building, it's not only the furniture, it is not only the process, but everything, the smallest thing that they experience has the tinge of excellence. And that film shooting is so much etched in my memory and whatever I do, Today, I think whether this is the best that we can do, this is the best that we can achieve, is this my best output, is this the best I am capable of doing and that's what this has become since then my teachable view for my employees, for my colleague and this is the value of excellence because Excellence has no Victoria Terminus. Excellence lies in breaking our own records. Great organizations I have found in my experience and traveling invariably focus attention on micromanaging excellence. I once went to Dusseldorf, Germany and visited an insurance company with my delegation for eventual negotiation for a joint venture. As we arrived in the reception, the huge reception, we found on the electronic dashboard, Indian flag, and in Hindi, Suswagatam, Dr. Anil Khandelwal, and we were, our names were mentioned in Hindi. We were really flabbergasted, and we were so happy as we went to the meeting, attended the meeting, it had set the mood, it had set the stage for, uh, you know, very positive feelings. And when the meeting ended, 
we were in for a bigger surprise. The food served was Indian food, which included bengan bharta, which included yellow dal, which included bundi ka raita, and we were really, we were not prepared for this surprise. And when I inquired as a curious person as to how this could be done, I was told by the MD of the company that since last one week their chef were preparing, they were reading Indian cookbooks, one of them visited even an Indian restaurant to sell off. And uh, this is an effort of last one week that they could offer this Indian food to our delegation. I was amazed that this is the limit of excellence and how great organization really spent time in giving and creating experience it at every touch point. It is not the quality of meeting discussions, but at every stage of your, you know, moving in their organization, experiencing the organization. And whenever I think of this, it gives me uh, very good feelings.